The motto of the University of Sheffield is to discover the causes of things. The way to take advantage of knowing the causes of things is to sort them out. Sheffield University have a great commitment, not only in terms of teaching, but also transferring the knowledge. We need to get out there and, and spread what we've learned to, to people who need it the most. This is the second time the team's been here and coming back builds so much trust. And because we've built the trust up with the team here, um, they've been able to ask us to do specific things with them to get more kids to schools. We've been able to build a, a trailer to go on a bike that will be a school bus and that has been completely co-created. The original idea worked but not well enough and then the locals really helped us rework it to make it a great solution. It's very important for the refugees to grow their own vegetables because they used to do that in Syria. We showed them the first time how to grow things in polyurethane foam, came back to find they'd already built a farm. Just needed a few finishing touches to make it really sing locally. The plan is for this project to be implemented within the entire, entire camp to have several prototypes built and have community members running the systems. They all have uh, basic knowledge of engineering things, they know how to make things and build things and then the parts which they don't have, they just make out of nothing. The other thing we worked on is disabilities, looking at making walking frames for children with a cerebral palsy. We worked on the wheelchair. One of the ideas was to build a specially adapted bike, so the hand cranked bikes and of people who can't use the legs properly. With a few pointers, they just went ahead and just built it. So the plan, potentially, is to build more of these bikes for people with disabilities. So when I came last time, they were really interested in how they could power their mobile phones, working with the dynamos from the bicycle, looking at what we can make from the recycled polymer they collect. Uh, we're going to take some samples from them and reprocess them and make something simple like a flower pot. That would be a great achievement because then they could probably do that here. So a lot of what we're trying to do is not necessarily make a complete finished thing, but give them the skills to say, ah, that's how you do it. We came over uh, this time to look at helping uh, with weatherization of the caravans. They are collapsing, there's damp in the floors, and we're keen to move forward with working with them on projects like this where we can share the additional knowledge that we may have. This visit, I also brought some social scientists who study governance, entrepreneurship and innovation so that we can all work together with partners in Jordan uh, to achieve the end goal of improved lives for both Jordanian citizens and refugees. So we'll be doing joint research projects um, around food, energy, water, livelihoods. We're determined not to parachute in, interfere, dive out again. We really want this to be a sustainable relationship. Academics really think about things, they really want to solve problems and it's, it's great to see their minds getting pushed to work on, on something which is so far outside of the norm for them. So there are opportunities for our academics to look beyond the camp and to try and understand what is happening to Jordanian society. It is important that, that university students get involved in this sort of thing, implementing the sort of gap between academia and the work we do in, in the universities into a practical application, there's something to be said about just implementing the technologies and get, getting the things you're, you learn about and that out there and, and 
expanding the knowledge. If you read the history of Sheffield, it was set up by penny donations. And to me, that makes Sheffield special. And knowing that that's where Sheffield comes from makes me feel that that's what Sheffield should be about. It should be about helping the people. The people that built Sheffield University would want us to do this. By helping the refugees is part of our role and of part of our job also. The ideal situation would be to have essentially two funding streams. So one funding stream so that we could fund interventions and working in camp without needing to bother about the academic research activity and just use the skills of the people that come from the university to work in this co-creation mode. When we're working here, the things we do allow us to co-create so we can learn what it's like for people to live, how we might all have to live in the future. Making life better for everyone, wherever they are, is, is what we do.